So let's see. How are we going to do this? Let me see. Let's put another stick of dynamite down. Go away! Why is this thing staying open? The first explosion has hardly scratched the hatch. A second one's not going to do much more. Okay, then what? Do you want to explode the concrete beam? I hope that works. I'm not really sure what that's going to accomplish either, but okay. This is a little more concerning to me. I'm not really fond of this plan. Okay. Very carefully. Okay. The dynamite should blast the concrete gutter from the ceiling once and for all. And then what? I'm not really sure where this plan is heading. <laughs> but, uh, alright. Use cable on dynamite. Is there, like, more dynamite in there in case this doesn't work? I really hope so. He only mentioned two. I'll wrap the end of the two wires around the contacts again. You don't have to narrate it to me, just do it. Okay. Um... I would feel a little better if you'd like close this hatch or something, but I guess he's not going to do that. Here we go! <sighs> then let's try again. This time it has to work. Okay. Do I have control? Let's see. Hooray! It did a thing, but now it's kind of in the way. That's not so I can't great. Move it, it's too heavy. Aha. Uh -huh. That's probably where the rubber dinghy comes in, huh? He won't fit in, will he? Sure enough, it's penetrated the hatch. There's some kind of pipe down there. It leads downwards. It would be big enough for me, but I can't see where it leads. And I can't squeeze past the piece of concrete. Okay. Sure enough, it's pain. Yeah, yeah. Leads, okay. And I can't squeeze. Can I put this underneath? If I just put the boat under the girder, it'll probably slip out when it inflates. I've got to attach the boat to the girder somehow. Okay. How about the chain? I'll put the chain around the piece of concrete. Okie dokie. And now this? The metal eyelets on the dinghy. I'll fasten the chain on there. Okay. Now this thing is supposed to have its own air compressor, right? Or do I have to use the one upstairs? The boat is attached to the chain, which is wrapped around the piece of concrete. That might work. Okay, we'll do things. And up it goes. And please back away. Alrighty! Hooray! The boat has lifted the gutter a little bit. Now there's enough space for me to get past it. As long as the beam stays up there, then I'm happy. Please don't jinx it. Alrighty, is there anything else we need from around here? I certainly hope not. Still got a bunch of weird stuff that I haven't used yet. Go away! Alright, down the hatch. Let's see. Oh my. Ladder to the tank room. There's a grate there, and a cable here. The concrete beam has broken off a piece of the wall here, and a few wires are sticking out. I think they're alive. Please do not touch them. I'd better not touch them. 
An electric shock here could mean death. Yeah, I'm glad you figured that out faster than Samuel did. Okay, so we don't want to touch those, but we have insulating cable. Let's see, is this the- we want to, like, get through that grate somehow? Damn. Up there's the way out. But there's no ladder here. I'm guessing that the room up there is the one behind the steel door. But I can't get at the grate. Okay. Somehow I gotta get up there. Perhaps I could flood this pipe and swim up? That seems like a dangerous idea, but, uh... And we also... Okay. For starters, can you seal this off? Because the last thing we need is electrified water that you're swimming in. Stripping the wires is a good idea. Holding on to the ladder at the same time is too. But doing both at the same time is pretty difficult. What would you like me to do then? You want to flood this first and then do that? That seems bad. I'm not really fond of that idea, but okay. If that's what you want to do, Darren, that's what we'll do. Oh my goodness gracious. Alrighty, to the main room. So... Is this hose actually going to be long enough to take the water all the way down there? The connector fits. The hose is connected to the water outlet. Alright. Um, let me make sure that he did it right. Wait, where does that hose end? Where, where is the end of the hose? What did you do, Darren? <laughs> I don't really understand, but okay, let's let's see what happens if we turn it on. First, I should put the end of the hose where the water's gonna help me. Do I still have it? Oh, I still- okay. I still have it in my inventory. That's why he didn't say anything useful. Okay, um, is it enough to put it here? No. We have to actually, like, go down there and stuff. Come on! Alrighty. Enough with the dramatic hatch climbing. <sighs> this is getting stuck again. Can I put this on the hatch? just long enough. I'm still really concerned about those wires. Is there a way that I can seal them off before we do this? Not really sure. I don't see anything helpful here. He was complaining about not being able to do both at the same time. Now I, now I can't even do that. Okay, well, uh, then let's try flooding it and hope that I don't electrify him. Okie dokie. Let's flood the place. Turn this on. There's still some live electrical wires in the pipe. I'll have to change that first, otherwise flooding the place is going to be dangerous. I tried to do that. Or do I... 
Is it enough to just like turn off the lights? Let's see what this does. The door is open and the light is on. There's nothing else. Okay, I no, do. he doesn't want to touch that again. Um maybe a light switch. Just turn the lights off in here. Will he turn it on now? I'm not really fond of the idea of swimming in the dark. But maybe we can insulate the wires while they're not yeah, live. Still some live no, I'll have he's to still going to be upset about that. <sighs> okay, then let's try... How am I going to make him... I'll put the... Oh, okay. So he will not let me go down there with the lights off. What am I supposed to do with you, man? Alright, let's see. Anything here that I can take? Nope. Hmm. Magnesium flares! Nope. A wrench! Nope. Gloves, put them on. I don't know. No way. The gloves are such poor quality that I'd rather do without. <laughs> Alright, screwdriver! No. Small piece of cloth. No. I don't understand. What am I missing here? You won't let me insulate these as it is. I'd better not touch them. Yeah, I know that. See, now the insulation tape isn't even reacting. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Double clicking doesn't work here. He climbs the ladder slowly no matter what I do. Okay. Go away! Why does this menu get stuck on this screen? Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Let's blow something else up. Maybe there's something I can do with air compressor? The cylinder of compressed air would have been refilled using this compressor. It's seen better days, but it's not fit for the junkyard just yet. Why do I need to refill the cylinder? Or do I not? Is there anything I can do with the with the dinghy now? Boat has lifted the gutter. Okay, a no. Bit. He's just gonna repeat that. What am I missing? Hmm. Light switch. But he won't climb down there if the light is off. Anything over here? Cell door. There's still this thing. Hmm. Is there anything here that I can can I switch the, the door wires is off open there? And the light is on. There's nothing else I no. can do here. Why is this still active then? The flame's gone out already? How was I supposed to heat my food over the next few days? You weren't. The flame's gone out? <laughs> you would have to eat cold beans. 
the horror. Okay. I'm guessing it's something to do with the light being off. I don't really understand what. The heck am I missing here? Alright, let's check his little diary thing. Whew, I should leave this room and continue searching for Angelina. Whoever trapped me in here hasn't reckoned with my inventiveness. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 inventiveness, blah. I'm gonna get out of here and find out what this is all about. Somehow I'm going to get out of this damn bunker. Neither massive metal doors nor tons of rock are going to stop me. Angelina's okay. As long as she's okay, then everything's okay. I want to see her. Alright, next page, please. Welding powder, blah, blah, blah. Did these pigs murder Angelina? No, they murdered Boris. You don't always have to be hard-headed trying to break through a wall. Sometimes it's smarter to simply skirt around the problems or dive under them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, concrete beam in the way. We already did that. B -b -b freedom may be waiting on the other side of the grate, but how am I going to get up there? Well, I know about flooding the thing. If there's no ladder, I'll have to fly or swim. I want to know what to do with the... with the, the stupid wires. Brute force, blah blah. That's not helpful. Darren, you are not being helpful. We can read the latest entry. Bunker, I encountered a hooded member of the Order and was promptly locked up. Now there can't be any doubt about how serious this Order is. But what do they want? It sounded like they wanted to get their hands on me, not Angelina. I'm understanding less and less. Reginald Boris has been killed in a hideout used by the Order. Did the members have a fallout? Was there a traitor? Or maybe the mask wearer didn't belong to the Order at all? Reginald Boris's death throws up quite a few questions, but it gives me hope. Angelina could still be unharmed in the hands of criminals, but unharmed. I'll free her! That's nice, but you won't let me deal with these wires. What the heck am I missing? I do not understand. He won't let me go down there with the lights off. And he's making a big stink about dealing with the cables while also being on the ladder. No? Okay. What do you want me to do, man? Darren, I don't understand. Wrench, no. <sighs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Also, I ran out of tea again. Is there something else I can do with the concrete beam? What are these magnesium flares for? Hmm. Yeah, well, when I tried to do stuff with the lights off, that didn't change anything. He was still like, there are live wires down there. The horror. Where's that light switch? There it is. I'll put the light on first. Alright, sure. Can I... Do we need more dynamite? <laughs> that was the last stick of dynamite. Okay. That's what I thought. There were only two. Is there anything else in here? I don't need any more cable at the moment. So you're gonna, like, freak I've out? i searched Boris's corpse... thoroughly. <sighs> There's nothing else I might need. I've seen enough already. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. 
Let's see, the compressor. I feel like this compressor has something to do with it, but I'm not really sure what. Is he just gonna make a comment about this again? The door is bolted from yeah, out yeah, of the blah, blah, blah. <sighs> What am I missing? I don't. I do not understand! Is there something with this cell door? I wonder why there's a jail in this bunker. Who'd they want to lock up here? Good question. I wonder why there's a jail in this bunker. Camping stove. Can I just like the flames gone out? Take it or something? No. I am completely at a loss. I don't understand what what Darren wants me to do here. Can I like use the box of magnesium flares to make it possible for him to uh it's not going to be... There's no way this is going to be tall enough or something. No. That's ridiculous. What do you want me to do, man? I do not understand. There's nothing else down here, right? No. Just these two hot spots and then that. And the book is not giving me any hints. No hints for me! Mm, nope. Alright, well then, to conserve time, I'm just gonna go ahead and look online. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> this is so stupid. Really? Really? I'll wrap the gloves with insulating tape. Why were you making such a big deal out of the the ladder thing then? It'd be best to bend the electric wires out of the pipe and into the tank room. Well then do it. <sighs> Darren. Well, I would get out of here. <sighs> All right, that's that. I would have never guessed that. Like, in a million years, I would have never guessed that. Well, okay, maybe in a million years, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Okay. So, um, now will you flood the place? Let's see. All right, then. Let's flood the pipe. Later. That should be enough. Okay. Let's see. What does it look like down there now? Please don't touch the wires. This sounds bad. What? What? What's those are nuts? They're keeping the grate in place. Okay, uh, wrench, quick. It's working. Well, that's what a wrench is for. Go in, keep going. Just one more. Oh, that's it. Why? Why are you in such a hurry? Like you have air. Or at least it looks like you do. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Just in time. Alright, weirdo. I almost drowned just now. And I want that to stay as an almost. Alright, I'm going to assume that he had no air, because it looked like he did. Anyway, 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and end here. Next time we'll we'll uh, figure out what's going on in this place. What is this like a mining area or something? I see pickaxes and stuff, so I'm assuming so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end before my cough comes back, and I have to go and make more tea, and that'll be boring. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed the set, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Black Mirror 2. Goodbye, everyone.